G'day. So DockerCon 2016 was earlier this week and one of the announcements I was really excited about was Docker Swarm Mode. So I wanted to take 15 minutes, time box myself and see how far I could get with Docker Swarm Mode. I wanted to do this for two reasons, to see the power of the platform as it is today and I also wanted to keep everybody honest for the demos that were done on stage which were awesome by the way. So let's get started here. So I've already used a uh, Docker machine. Let's take a look at what we got, Docker Machine LS, to spin up a three node cluster on EC2. So I have a manager node and two worker nodes. Now you can see over on the right there, they're running Docker 1.12 RC2, which is a requirement to run Docker Swarm mode. So after bootstrapping those nodes, I went on and did a Docker Swarm init on the manager node and a Docker Swarm join. So if you take a look at the link in the description, the blog's there with all the commands I actually run to bootstrap this cluster. Let's just assume that works. What we can also do to take a look is if we run docker node ls, we can actually get a little bit more detail on our node. So you can see the membership, the status, and that we have one leader, which is the manager. So we're in a good state. So let's go ahead and create an app. So I'm going to call docker service create and pass it in a, a bunch of options here. Replicas, I'm going to say I want one of these. I'm going to give it a name, Crocker Hunter. Dash P, you're familiar with. I'm going to expose port 8080 because my container is listening to, on port 80. Update delay and update parallelism. So update delay is how the gap between each replica uh, when you're doing an update and parallelism is obviously how many you want to do at once. And the last thing is the image name. So that's a, a Docker Hub image, and we're pushing out the awesome game of Croc Hunter B1. So let's run that. Now, if we ask Docker uh, tasks, and so I'm asking it if I could type about Croc Hunter so that we see we have Croc Hunter deployed. It's been running for 11 seconds, and it's on node Swarm Manager 1. So if I was going to do a docker ps, I would expect, expect to see that running on this node and voila, it's been up for 24 seconds. So um, the really cool thing is I'm using docker. Right? I'm not using another tool to in interrogate service. So we can also do a docker service inspect to see a little bit more details about the service I just deployed. So we can take a look through this, obviously, or we can do a dash pretty, I think it is, get a little bit more details on exactly what my app is doing. Now, to keep everyone honest here, let's just prove that I have indeed deployed an app. So I will take one of these nodes. Now, the mesh routing, I can hit it from any of these nodes and I'll get pushed through to the right destination. So you can see that Croc Hunt is running, V1 with the host name. So, you know, awesome game, great. Let's say I want to add a little bit of redundancy to this. There's actually a scale command. So docker service scale, and I'll tell it how many replicas I want. So scale to three. So if I go back and ask for the tasks again, I should now see that I have two additional. So I have three in total, and we have one on manager, one on worker one, and one on worker two. So now if they're all up and running, I should expect in this app, to see when I refresh a different host name. And there we go. So we have actually been low balanced to another running container in the cluster. And again, okay. So we're scaled to three. Now I actually want to upgrade the app. So let's just say I want to do a Docker service update, dash dash image. I want to update to the V2 container tag. Um, and I want to update the Croc Hunter app. Okay, so I've told it to do that. If I, let's just clean this off. If I ask it about the task, you should see that I indeed have one now that's running V2. And obviously I mentioned it earlier, the 10 second delay and we're doing one at a time. So that's the update delay and update parallelism. So that's in, indeed working as well. So what I should see is this will normalize and we'll have V2 running everywhere. We go back to the app and we asked it, okay, so we have V2. And V2, you know, I no longer shoot lasers, I shoot fish instead. Um, and again, you can see host name, we should indeed get load balanced. 
eventually. <laughs> a watched phone never rings. So I could press this quite a few times and never get load balance, but I've done it before. It will eventually get there. So believe me that that works. Now, one final thing I want to do is a node drain. So um, if you're running the infrastructure, what you might want to do is actually move workloads off so you can perform maintenance on one of these nodes. So I'm actually going to ask it to set a node to drain. So you can say docker node update availability to drain and I'm going to tell it to drain worker one. So we should see um, that one of these should be drained. Tasks. So nothing is running on worker one now. See before that something was running on worker one. So we're drained. We can also um, inspect that node. Active. Let's just inspect. So we can see that it's set to drain. Okay, I'm going to put put that back to active and check it again. So now we're back at active state. Okay, so we're normalized. So this pretty much wraps it up. That's all there is to it. So we deployed a cluster. I deployed an app, scaled the app, upgraded the app, drained a node, um, and that, that's all there was to it. The Docker machine commands that I ran to bootstrap the nodes um, didn't take too long either. I just didn't think it was worth showing. Um, if you want further details, uh, take a look at the blog. Thanks for joining us. I'm really excited about what's going to... Um, how this product's going to develop. This project's going to continue to develop. It looks very promising right now um, and very little effort or uh, know how to actually get a cluster up and running and give you, you know, orchestration. So great move, uh, Docker. Thanks for joining, guys.